What you're watching here is graduate student Martin Luker of the University of California at Berkeley demonstrating what it takes to prepare to go outside here at the South Pole. My name is Katherine Schaefer and Martin and I are both scientists working on the South Pole Telescope here at the National Science Foundation's South Pole Station. The South Pole is an ideal location for a telescope like ours, which is designed to detect faint radiation left over from the Big Bang. The extremely dry atmosphere and the long dark winters here provide excellent conditions for our telescope, but they are difficult conditions for people to work in. Each person who vi visits the South Pole is equipped with two large orange bags full of gear to help us stay warm when, when we go outside. The gear includes long underwear, fleece jackets, coveralls, insulated boots, a giant red parka, goggles, and all sorts of hats and gloves. It's the middle of December right now, and temperatures are actually at their warmest here, only minus 10 degrees today. But typical temperatures for the summer season can be, be between minus 20 and minus 40 degrees. Martin and I are currently standing just inside the front entrance to the South Pole Station, right next to the gymnasium and one of the lounges. The station is where we live when we're down here working on the telescope, and it's quite comfortable. But to get to the telescope every day, we have to leave the station and walk about a kilometer across the snow. So putting on all of this gear is part of the daily routine for us. It's about 9 p.m. here, and Martin and I are about to head out for a night of work. We're working on the night shift, but you would never know it by looking outside. During the summer season, it's sunny here 24 hours a day. Once Martin is finished getting dressed, we'll head outside and show you our daily commute to work. Okay, Martin and I just stepped out of the front door of the station, which is what we're looking at right now. This is the new station. It's still being uh, built a little bit. A little bit of construction is still underway right now. And we're just going to pan the camera around and show you what our local environment looks like and where we're headed for work today. So as we move to the left, mostly you just see some snow. And then in the distance there, let me see if I can zoom in on this. There we go. In the distance, you can see a whole bunch of flags. That's actually the location of the actual geographic South Pole, as well as the ceremonial South Pole. And all those flags are the flags of the signatories of the Antarctic Treaty. The ceremonial South Pole really does look like a barbershop pole. It does look like a barbershop pole. I hope you get to see some pictures. So as we pan to the left, we see some, there's some blocks of snow out there. Those are actually going to be used for ice sculptures as part of an annual tradition. We keep panning, mostly you just see a lot of snow, some flags. The distant horizon, more flags. And there we go. That's the telescope out there in the distance. That's, that's the dark sector laboratory. It's actually several telescopes. It's a couple telescopes. Of course, there's only one that we're working on right now, which is the big one to the left. And this is the walk that we make every day to get out to the telescope. It takes about 15 minutes. It takes us across the skiway, which is where all the planes normally land. So sometimes you get stuck waiting for the planes on the way out there. And on a cold day, by the end of this walk, you really feel it. Okay, you we're going to... You You're covered in frost. Yeah, covered in frost. Okay, we're going to head out there. Okay, so here we are, almost out to the telescope. Uh, off there in the distance is the station again. And from this vantage point, you can actually see the dome, which was the second station here at the South Pole, built in about 1970. Uh, currently, that station is being demolished. Uh, and as we pan around, let me zoom out, you can see some of the telescopes that have been out here over the last 10 or 15 years. Uh, right in front of you, that building that's almost buried is, was the Astro Telescope. That's been out of commission for a couple of years now. And as we keep panning over, uh, you'll see two telescopes here at the Martin A. Pomerantz Observatory, known as MAPO. Uh, the telescope on the right uh, is the was originally the DAISY Telescope. Um, since then, it's housed other experiments called QUAD. And on the left, you'll see the telescope that I worked here the first time I came out about six years ago. Uh, that was the Viper telescope. The telescope is now gone, but you can still see the ground shield. Uh, that shield protects the telescope and protects the instrument from getting light from the ground, which would confuse our science. 
And if we pan around again, you'll see uh, ice for another thousand miles. And we keep panning around. And here we are. This is the Dark Sector Lab. This is where we're, we're working today. Um, here you see another two telescopes. The one on the roof on the right is the BICEP telescope. Uh, that one is still taking data. And there's the 10 meter, the South Pole telescope itself. And if you keep going, you see one more telescope. This is Ice Cube. The Ice Cube telescope is pretty special. It's not above the ground, it's underground. And instead of using a big reflector to catch light, the Ice Cube telescope uses the ice to catch subatomic particles called neutrinos. Hey, Martin. Hi, Catherine. How is it out there today? Warm. Really warm. I'm sweating under here. I'm still a little iced up. You You're still a little iced up. So it's nice out. The wind is low. We've had a beautiful walk to work. Not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud in the sky. Check it out. All right. Okay. Let's get. Yeah, let's do it. Bye, everybody.